So right now I have too much airflow going through here and through there. So I'm going to install a damper right here. And this is how we do it. First, you make an incision, which then exposes the internal tube. So I'm gonna separate that and show you that. When we're going to install a damper, first you make an incision, like so. And that will expose the internal portion of the ductwork. We're gonna cut this and separate this all the way. All right, so I've gone ahead and separated that, all except for this one little wire. And that requires a pair of tin snips. Let's see if we can. See if we can cut that. All right, here we go. So I have that cut. The next thing we do is we'll go ahead and take this insulation. This is kind of fun, I think, but you know, your idea of fun and my idea of fun may be two different things. Take this insulation and kind of roll the insulation in with this outer lining. I'll show you what it looks like after I'm done because it's hard to do it one-handed. There we go. This is the internal part of the duct. Right here's the internal part of the duct. Here's the external insulation for the duct. So what we do is we kind of tuck it in and then we do the same thing on this side. Just move it and tuck it in. And what we're gonna end up doing is I'm gonna take the coupling, it's kind of like a coupling with a damper in it. And what a damper, do, damper does is it's like a round disc. And I can turn it to let airflow through or I can kind of just slow down the airflow, which is what I want to do. And that will force airflow back into the system to allow other registers to get the air that they need, the air pressure that it needs. So I'm gonna put it here. This will go right over the top of one side. This will go over the top of the other side. Then what we'll do is we'll put some I'll put some HVAC tape on there. There you go, so you guys can see what that is. Maybe that'll make it a little easier to read. So you take some HVAC tape, some duct tape, and you put that over the top of the of this part right here that holds it in place. Then we take as a trusty dusty zip tie and go over the top of that. And then we tape it again. And after we tape it, the second time, we go ahead and take this out and we put the insulation over the top of the metal and then we tape that tight, then we zip tie it and then we tape it again and we do that on both sides. And after it's done, it look kind of like that. Now this is, has some insulation over the top of the, the duct work because we don't want to have it just raw metal out. You'll lose some of the heat that way. This is the damper. All right, so I don't have to open or close it all the way, just kind of block it a little bit. There's a little handle I can use to turn it and then tighten up the bolts. So this will go right in here. So now we've got this, here's the metal. We're gonna push a couple of these wires down here so it gives it more strength. And then we're gonna take this tape. We're gonna overlap about that much. And we'll do the same thing on this side. We'll do the zip ties, like I said, and then we'll put this right over the top of the zip tie too. <coughs> and then we'll be able to pull this out and cover that. There we go. So we've got the tape overlapping that. So you can see the wires kind of in there. And then we'll take the zip tie and put it right over the duct tape. If you have the tool for tightening the zip tie on there, that's fantastic. So there it is, there's the edge of the tape, there's the zip tie and there's the tape so that we have the tape acts as a strength so that the zip tie doesn't cut right through the plastic. And what we'll do is we can either cut this off uh, or we can kind of tape it into the folds like that, which is probably what we'll do. I've gone over this actually twice over the top of where that uh, zip tie folds over. So I've got two layers on top of there, that's what I prefer to do. The next thing is to take this part and overlap it. All right, so this side's all ready to go to have this outer insulation cover this, then tape and zip and tape. This side is just started, so I've got, you can see a couple bands in there. I'm gonna do, uh, went over that a couple times as well. I'm gonna put the zip tie, then another piece of tape or two, 
and then this over the top, and then we're gonna bring both these together and have it all taped up, and then we're gonna adjust the damper to, according to the flow that we need down below. All right, when it's all done, it'll look a little something like that. Just gotta adjust the damper and see what happens. Installing the ductwork to the registers is very similar. Here you'll see that I've stripped back the same way that I did for the damper, and I've put the, uh, the internal piece over the top, and I will do the same thing. I will go ahead and tape it, zip it, tape it, unfold insulation, tape it, zip it, and tape it again. We zip tied and then duct taped over the zip tie. If you have any questions, if you have any questions about real estate investing in general, you have questions about mortgages, please just write a comment down below. Send me a question. If you don't want it to be seen, if you want it to be private, you can go to my website, Watch Bob on YouTube.com, and there you can you can contact me via email, and then I can create a YouTube video to show you or to answer your question as well. And if you want it just private, I can do that too. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you liked it, give me a like. If you didn't like it, tap it twice, and then don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys.